Hey what's up everyone I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Rudraditya and in this video I am going to talk about the OnePlus 11 well before talking about the OnePlus 11 let's also talk that is this the phone which will help OnePlus to make its comeback especially in India well there are a lot of things a lot of you know factors which will decide this so time will only tell but first let's talk about the company the oneplus so as we all know that oneplus has developed a very good brand image in india especially among the general people who doesn't you know know much about tech but they are like they just want oneplus phone you know techie like us are you know reacting what there are customers like this who still buy oneplus trust me there are crazy customers literally the fans the you know there are a lot of people who just want to own oneplus for the very first time that's why oneplus nord and nord ce series are just so popular because you know because of the price a lot of people can't afford the number series so now they are you know buying the nord series because now it's affordable more affordable we can say so that's why they are so popular in india just think about it right so oneplus is very famous we all know but as a techie, we know that what actually cooking, what actually happening with OnePlus company, especially from last two, three years, or let's say since Carl Pai left the company. Plus the Oxygen OS is now more like color OS. But apart from all these things, I guess OnePlus 11 is the phone which will help OnePlus to bring back its glory. But how? Let's find out. All right, so first thing first, let me clear this, that the naming scheme, you know, OnePlus 11 is the successor of OnePlus 10 Pro. Yeah, there is no Pro naming this time with the OnePlus 11, but it's still it's the successor of the OnePlus 10 Pro. And now if we talk about the specifications, then you will get Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the latest, the best flagship processor. And then you will also get UFS 4.0 and LPDDR5X RAM, the latest storage and RAM type as well. Now there are rumors that there will be one you know variant which will get 16 GB of RAM but you know just don't spend your extra money for that extra RAM you will just waste your money. Now talking about other things like the battery then you will get 5000 milliampere battery and 100 watt charging brick inside the box now in my frank opinion 100 watt is already overkill now many of you guys may think that why not 150 180 or 200 watt but you know like do let me know do you really need more you know fast charging like 200 watt 9 minutes 10 minutes and 0 to 100 percent charge done or you guys are happy with 65 watt 80 watt well personally i am happy with 65 watt 65 watt is the sweet spot in my frank opinion but you know technology is evolving now we have that technology so we can get you know those crazy fast chargings but anyway you will get 100 watt and 5000 mAh so the combination is looking good 5000 mAh is there so that's a plus point and if we talk about the display then you will get an amoled panel with 120 hertz high refresh rate the peak brightness is going to be 1300 nits now yeah it's good even in outdoors i don't think that you are going to face any trouble you can see the on-screen content but again i have to test that to actually give the final judgment but you know considering today's flagship like samsung and apple is providing you 1500 nits 1700 nits of peak brightness so considering that 1300 nits is little less but i'm not going to complain because you know the price is also less the oneplus will not charge us 1 lakh or 1 lakh 30 thousand rupees or something like that like this the iphone 14 pro cost us 1 lakh 30 thousand for the base variant in India, which is, you know, <laughs> horrible. But anyway, if we talk about the design, uh, very subjective thing, because a lot of people are hating this, like the circular design, the circular camera module, but a lot of people are actually liking this. Now, if you ask me, then I'm not going to judge right now, because sometimes, you know, if you look something in photos, then it looks different but when you look the same thing in person then you will may change your mind so i'm not saying that it's good or bad for me it's just average it's neither bad ugly looking or neither great good looking so i will wait i will try to see the you know phone in hand and then i can actually tell you that what i think about the overall design but talking about the colors then you will get two colors green and black I mean the colors are also very similar and I read a lot of comments uh, and a lot of people are actually not very you know happy with this decision because at least launched new colors we have already seen these colors with the oneplus 10 pro the green color especially so at least launch a different color so that it will give us a different you know like a feel that yeah we are actually using the latest the newest model but yeah that's not the case so far oneplus officially showed us only two colors which is green and black talking about the front design then you will get a curved panel a curved display and also this time the punch hole is on the left side not on the middle now personally again i prefer the punch hole on the middle 
rather than on left or right but this time we have the punch hole on the left side now let's talk about the most exciting part which is cameras now on paper the cameras are looking you know rock solid like you will get 50 megapixel IMX 866 with OIS and a 48 megapixel IMX 581 ultra wide lens this one has no OIS and then you will get a 32 megapixel telephoto lens with IMX 709 and this is going to be 2x telephoto now see all lenses are practical no doubt about that wide the primary lens then the ultra wide and then the telephoto in telephoto also you will get ois but i guess in ultra wide you won't get ois but still it's fine and very practical but telephoto lens could be 3x or 5x because nowadays in iphones in samsung even in google pixel 7 pro we see 5x lens 3x lens in samsung s22 ultra we also see a periscope lens again a telephoto lens which comes with 10x as well so yeah 3x 5x these lenses are more good because you can actually get good amount of zoom in 2x you don't really feel that zoom and telephoto lens is made for zoom so i guess 3x telephoto lens should be standard in 2023 and talking about the sensors then all sensors are good in all the lenses especially the primary lens i see one plus eight one plus nine ten and now even eleven they are using a special you know sony sensor in their primary lens in all their flagship phones and trust me the sensor is so good the sensor is so big as well so it lets in more light the quality is better the low light performance improves as well thanks to ois also plus talking about the color science then they already collaborated with the hasselblad so the color science is also good it's but overall i mean talking about the camera level then still it's not as good as samsung or apple but uh, you know i mean it's definitely close and i hope that with oneplus 11 the gap will you know get even thinner so i'm really hoping that oneplus 11 will perform good in camera department but at the end it all depends on the image processing like how is the image processing no matter how good the sensor or the resolution is it all depends on the image processing at the end so i hope that oneplus 11 do well in the camera department so i have to check the you know new processor how it's going to you know perform the throttling the heating and then the battery as well like how the of course charging is going to be great but how the battery perform how much screen on time we can get plus the cameras and of course then the display speakers haptics there are a lot of things so i will try to cover this phone on my channel but now how they can make a comeback so in my opinion it all depends on the price wait 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 if you will think that hey you just talk about the hardware where is software so yeah i know now we have to deal with it if you are planning to buy a oneplus phone then just deal with it that you're not going to get the old vibe the old vibe of oneplus anymore but still it's very neat it's fast and it's full of features it's not very plain like you know stock android so you will get some advanced features plus it's very light and most importantly there is no bloatwares and ads so it's still great but yeah it's very much similar or let's say it's just you know oppose color os so that's kind of sad but i mean if you're planning to buy oneplus phone just deal with it so overall software is still good it's not so bad the experience is not going to be bad plus also one more thing that you will get oxygen os 13 based on android 13 so android 13 out of the box and now oneplus announced four years of major android updates and five years of security patches for their flagship phones so oneplus 11 will get android 14 15 16 and 17 plus then additional year of security patch update so yeah they are competing well with samsung in this regard but anyway now let's talk about the price so if the pricing will be between 60 to 65 thousand rupees then in my opinion this phone is going to sell well but if the price it more than 65 or let's say above 70 thousand then i guess people will shift to samsung s series or iphones or rather they will you know buy pixel 7 pro as well because now that's also an option so yeah oneplus you need to price this phone correctly i mean if you are listening oh, i'm dreaming right now but anyway just by any chance if you are listening to this then please listen me carefully just price this phone correctly in order to do well again in the indian market and with that said i guess that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed if yes then smash the like button and share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel if this is your first time and thank you for watching i will catch you guys in the next video until then bye bye take care